So we have some very exciting news and something really exciting happening for us at the moment. So we are actually picking up our new addition to our family. So um, our new little Cocker Spaniel puppy on Sunday. So it's currently Friday, the 11th of December, 2020. We're picking up our new little boy um, on Sunday. So we're gonna be traveling up tomorrow, staying overnight and then bringing him home on Sunday. Um, so we're so excited. We've been waiting and wanting this for ages. We've got him from a really lovely lady. Loads of communication, loads of pictures and videos, and he's just absolutely beautiful. We can't wait to bring him home. So yeah, I thought I would just start this video off um, by just explaining what's gonna be happening. I'm gonna film the process as much as possible over the next few days, um, bringing him home, welcoming him to our family, or just for us and our you know, memories for the future. Um, so yeah, we're very excited and we will keep you updated as we go along. Okay, so it's the next day. So we've driven um, from home to Harrogate. Harrogate. <laughs> so we're staying here overnight. So we're at the Hotel Devan. And it's really nice. We're gonna have a good night's sleep here. We're gonna go out and get some food in a bit. Um, and it all looks really nice outside. Loads of Christmas lights and it looks lovely. And tomorrow we'll be picking Pup up at 1 p.m. Um, and he is in Barnsley. So we've got a bit of a drive tomorrow, but not too much. And then we'll be heading back home. Big day tomorrow, but we can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. So one hour drive from here to Barnsley and then pick up a pup. Eek. Today's the day. We get to pick up our little boy today. So it's the 13th of December, 2020. And um, yeah, so we stayed at the Hotel Devin last night. It was okay, wasn't it? it was, we yeah. didn't sleep overly well. It was really hot in here and we had to have a fan going and the pillows were so uncomfortable. But it's okay, because we're just getting ourselves used to sleepless nights. Exactly. We're gonna get some breakfast now and have a little bit of a look around, a bit of an explore. Um, and then we've got to drive to Barnsley and to pick him up. There's a little pet shop we saw last night when we walked. We went and had ZZ's for dinner. Um, and we, yeah, saw a little pet shop. So we're gonna go and have a look, see if there's anything we can pick up. My stomach's doing flips all the time. I just feel, <laughs> I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited. So roll on one o'clock. <laughs> Okay, so we've left Harrogate, um, so we're on the M1, M1 yeah. now, going towards Barnsley. So we're due to be picking him up at one o'clock, we're just gonna try and get there as early as possible. And then if we can get him any earlier, that would be good. Just because we've got quite a long drive back home, it's about four hours, so we just wanna get him home, not too late. But all being well, it should be 1 p.m. We're so excited, We, I, it just doesn't feel real, does it? Yeah, it does. We just, stop the flips and yeah, just it can't believe it, it, it does. And we've got his little, little bed ready with some toys and <laughs> we've got like a little puppy pad under there and we've got some supplies back here in the little bag um just for when he needs poo and a wee and stuff <laughs> so yeah we just absolutely can't wait and it's just gonna feel so surreal until we've actually got him in our arms on the way home it's gonna be crazy oh it's actually like a <gasps> my dream car no, actually is. <laughs> so yeah we will update as we get closer i guess or when we've got him it might be probably update before we get in because we'll be shitting ourselves so yeah we might get some videos during the pickup like, yeah see if we can line. yeah we're not sure what it's going to be like whether we need to like wear masks and we'll need to sort of transfer the money and just sort all that stuff out. out yeah so we're just hopeful that's not going to take too long just so we can get him home and yeah have him in our little family <laughs> so here he is he's absolutely amazing He's very sleepy. He's been so good already. Um, yeah, we've just stopped off at a services just to get some food, go to the toilet, and then hopefully we won't have to stop again. We just want to get him home now. So we've got about a four hour drive to get back. He's just doing amazing. And I'm just really hoping that he's just gonna stay like this for the drive. So his name is Archer. And he's a little Cocker Spaniel. We love him. Look at that little nose. So, just a little cheeky update. Here is little man. So this is Archer, like I said. So this is day two, we picked him up yesterday. Got home from Barnsley about 
six o'clock. We had a couple of family members come around to meet him and then his first night was brilliant. So we put him in a crate next to our, our bed last night and he woke up pretty much every two hours. He, we kind of put the training mat on the left hand side and his bed on the right hand side. He'll take himself off the bed, go and do what he needs to do on the mat and then he'll get back into bed and then he, he would start kind of whining and that would tell us that he, you know, he'd done it. So we would just walk out the crate, take out the mats and replace them and then give him a little cuddle and pop him back in and he was back to sleep. So we're so proud of him for his first night. He's done brilliantly throughout the day. He's just got like more and more confident. He was, you know, barely wanted to even walk around our house. He was terrified last night. And as the days went on, he started playing. He's like nipping a little bit. So it's all just signs that he's grown in confidence and he's getting happier with us. He has been doing like howling today and he sounds like a little kettle when he's doing a really high pitched little howl. We think there's an element of today, he's it's that realization. He's probably missing mum a little bit and just trying to get used to new surroundings and stuff. But yeah, he's just lovely. He just sleeps. He just sleeps a lot wakes up for food and a little bit of a play and then he goes back to sleep so yeah we love him he's doing amazing there he is so we are just stopped off to get him some food that we're going to start sort of weaning him off what he was eating and then onto this new stuff and then we've got his vet appointment at 4 30 in about half an hour to get his first vaccine so um yeah we will update you after <laughs> 